Ciao, ciao. Here's your princess Oka, sweet and sound. So how do we create a spreadsheet? Okay. How do you create expenses? <laughs> Seriously? You know how long it took for me to do it, but I'm going to do it manual. So you have to have an idea what your income is and your expenses. Let's start with the expenses. So let's say you have house, right? You have a house. This could be, of course, an apartment or anything else. So you pay rent. So this is a large section. And then there are subsections. You pay rent, you pay gas, electricity, on and on, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> you have to make choices. Let's say you have a cleaning lady. Does it belong to house? Yeah, let's say it belongs to house. Okay, there's also a section which is called maintenance. And you could put under clean maintenance cleaning or not. See, it's not exactly. Yeah, maybe the offices needed structure, but what do you need is a structure which works for you. So you got house, okay. Let's say, what could it be? No, you need food. Right? So you can, of course, split it or you cannot split it in different ways. But let's say the supermarket and maybe restaurant. Restaurant. What you spent. You just have to think what, what you got. If you had like a monthly wine subscription, they sent you a box of wine. They're totally asshole. Then you do wine. <laughs> You have to just, what will you spend your food in, okay? And next you have clothing. Maybe it's a different as a section, clothing. Okay, let's say clothing. Now you do not need to split it into shirts and sleeves and what. Uh, I don't know, I just have to think about it, clothing. Mm, I can't think about it right now. Let me continue. Four. I just had it. What was it again? Okay, let's say sports. So you have your, your gym subscription. You have a gym subscription. And then your son has a soccer has a soccer team. And then now I, I would put the sports clothing up here. And then of course you can have leisure. That I never had. And that is massages, money pity. Okay, so where do you put a hairstylist? See, it doesn't matter where you put this or not. So what you're gonna do is, I did like this. These are the weeks. The weeks. I'm holding my iPad. So what you do, you put your expense right here in the spreadsheet, whatever expense that is. Yeah, sometimes you need to keep your receipts because you have to kind of summarize it, right? So at the end, you have two totals. These are the totals, expenses, and you have it by week. But you also have it here. You have it twice. I don't know. I just did it this way. These are the expenses. Now, let's say you put one large sector, which you call income. Okay. So here is the plus and here is the minus total. Actually, it's a subtotal. Okay. Do you get it? One, two, all of it. Week. So here's the month. No, I did all this. I just had to think about it. No, I just need to think about it. So you got all the expenses here. You have a da 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 da, and you have a subtotal. And here you got the same. You got it by week. I don't know why, but I did it this way. It should be. Oh, and wait. There. No, there. It doesn't matter. You can also skip down. So then you have an income, which is a plus. Here's a minus, and then you have the grand total. Okay, 
Now here we have a grand total, what you got in a month. Now that's month January. Now you make the same, you just copy paste it. Now you, you program your spreadsheet that this amount goes in the beginning and should go maybe here. The money you start from in the next month, in February. Get it? So I did that and for the office. Whatever that is, you just need to figure what it is you have expenses with. Ciao.